very good to see that you survived uh, the ailment. Um, how do you feel generally right now? Good, good. I was fortunate to be able to make a full recovery, so back to, back to same old, same old, Mike. Could you please share how it happened? Um, I mean, it's a long story, but um, you know, generally, you know, strokes happen, um, and it's all about the recovery from there. So, um, you know, in my situation, I was fortunate to get uh, medical treatment uh, quickly, and then get into rehabilitation quickly. And um, and my background as an athlete helped as well. And so, so here I am, able to hopefully inspire other people who have had. Uh, whether it's a stroke or any other sort of illness, uh, help them to be able to you know, recover and, and get their, their uh, livelihood back. You're an Olympic legend. Uh, you smashed records. When you look back, what do you miss? Do you miss the sport? Uh, I don't miss the sport simply because I'm still involved in so many different ways with sport, whether it be through, you know, uh, my company, Michael Johnson Performance, where we work and support athletes around the world in all different kinds of sports, or whether it's with Laureus with our you know, sports uh, awards that we're hosting this weekend, or whether it's through the Laureus Sport for Good Foundation, where we are able to use sport uh, to help uh, uh, you know, youth and, and people around the world to, to improve their lives, um, or as a pundit for BBC working in sport. You know, everything that I do is, is related to sport, so for that reason, you know, I don't have to miss it. Final question. Do you consider yourself the greatest of uh, I consider myself Michael, and uh, that's an argument for everyone else to make, and that's the great thing about sports. If you ask 10 different people, they're going to give you 10 different answers, and they're going to have a fantastic debate about it.